What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we have another episode in the series loot from 100 runs. So I've already farmed Ulderman 100 times. In this video I'm going to show you how I farm it and then we're going to take a look at everything that I achieved over the last 10 hours or 100 runs of doing Ulderman. So before we dive into that I do want to mention that you guys can still get the 0 to 10 million gold guide. And if you use the code Shadowlands, you will get it for 50% off. It's an in-depth guide, step-by-step, step, that will teach you how to go from zero gold and all the way down to 10 million gold. I'm also updating the book for every expansion that comes out. So if you've bought the book previously or if you buy it now, you will receive any future updates for free. And if you're playing uh, like Season of Mastery, I also have a complete gold guide for Season of Mastery. Use code CLASSIC to get that one for 50% off. And they're both linked down below in the description and comment section. So I'm use, I've am i been using a druid. I use my druid for pretty much everything. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the route that I take in uh, in Ulderman. I can even put on the stopwatch to show you guys. I'm using uh, one of the, uh, the old school speed sets of being level 45. And having like the long strider pieces on it. I do have a separate video on how this speed set is built. If you guys want to take a look at that. However, my buddies that are also farming, most of them have a level 60 with a new level 60 speed set that people are using. And they're faster than me. So they can clear Ulderman way faster than I can clear it. So if you're interested in that one, I have the entire guide on how to build a level 60 speed set pinned on my Discord. So you can join that using the invite link in the description of this video. It's really, really fast. Like if you want to get into farming, you definitely want to have a druid with a speed set. I, <coughs> I got a couple of druids with speed sets on them. And I even have some other classes too with speed sets, like a hunter, or a war, even have a priest that I used to spam Holy Nova with that has a speed set. So Ulderman, why do you want to farm Ulderman? Ulderman is uh, it's a dear friend of mine. It is the dungeon that's been farmed by a lot of people because it contains some of the rarest items in the game, actually. They're so damn hard to get. The average guy that I know... And they spend like a thousand runs in Ulderman before they get their first super item. So uh, super, super items is items such as the Jackhammer, the Pendulum of Doom, the Miner's Hat, the Papal Fess, the uh, Shadowforge Bushmaster, the Spalders of Lost Age. Like there's a ton of them. And uh, the reason why they're worth so much gold, like millions... Is because they're so fucking hard to get. That's the only reason why. And some of them are also unique pieces. Like there's no pieces that look exactly like it. So if you want to collect it all. You do need to eventually get some of the Ulderman pieces. So it's a great dungeon to farm. Because uh, if you don't get like one of the super items. You still have some blue items that's specific to uh, Ulderman. They can only drop in Ulderman. They're not... As hard to get as the super items, but if you get something like a Jinsu, that's really, really good. Or the Stone Vault Bonebreaker. But it's like the Jinsu is, depending on your realm, it could be anywhere between 150 to like 450,000 gold. And they're not that hard to get. They really aren't. But uh, you definitely have to do a handful of hours in order to achieve one on average, though. So uh, I've received a. Uh, Two super, four super items in total, but only two different types. And that's uh, Papal Fest. I've received that twice. Sold the first one for like one or two million. And then I received two Shadow Forge Bushmaster. And the Shadow Forge Bushmaster is a gun. It's really one of the worst items you can get. And uh, like as a super item in the dungeon. Uh, I'm not looting, by the way, in this old man run. I just want to show you guys the route that I choose to do. Which is, uh, it's really simple, but like there's some people that miss some mobs. So if you uh, want to play this video alongside doing a run so you can fully understand the route. And after you've done the dungeon a couple of times, you will remember the route. And uh, it's going to be easy. But doing it without a speed set, and you will struggle to do one run in six minutes. And you always want to get each run down to six minutes because you can... You will get dungeon locked out in one hour, so you can do 10, well, 10 runs. So you can do 10 runs in an hour. So uh, 6 minutes times 10, 60 minutes, that's perfect. 
killing these guys. It's very important to go to the end of the dungeon because this boss, I actually received a super item, one of the Papal Fesses from this boss. Uh, but behind him, there's going to be a chest inside this room that opens when you kill him. And uh, I've received a ton of good items, including a couple of Jinsus from that chest. So you always want to get that with you. There we go. Killing that dude. Opening up the chest. Yeah, only bad items. <coughs> but that was like four minutes. And then I just poured out by using Dreamwalk. And then I reset the dungeon. And then I used Dreamwalk again to pour back inside of the dungeon. Uh, so Druids are doing this very efficiently. If you're doing it on a non-monk, non-Druid, you can simply just go into like the custom group finder. Then you start a group and then you disband the group instantly. And you will be pouring it just outside of Uldaman in one minute. You get like a one minute countdown and then you will be pouring it out. So that's also super easy to do. Now the real question is, after doing it a hundred times, what did I get? I think I have like six or seven videos on the channel where I show the loot that I received from doing all the man a hundred times. And uh, it varies. The RNG is massive, which is why I always or never recommend people to farm all the man like when they're just getting into gold farming because you're going to make so much more gold on average doing so many other dungeons. All the man is simply just... If your auction house is set, or if you just want to have some fun and you aim for the stars, play the lotto, you know, uh, play the roulette. That's when you want to do Ulderman. But I wouldn't just knock in like 400 hours of Ulderman and uh, expect to make a lot of gold. Because the truth is, you won't. Not on average. You can always get lucky. Like every dog has its day, but uh, <coughs> on average, it's a bad plan. Would not recommend it. So we're going to go through the items that I did get. In terms of green items, there's not that many green items worth keeping. But I did get like three of these Aurora robes, which tends to sell really well. Uh, same with the armor, like I always keep these. And then I got two Sorcerer Drape, they also tend to sell, so I kept it. Together with the Night Sky Cow, like they also sell, so I always keep those. Uh, there's not that many epics on the loot table of Ulderman, but I got the glo Gloves of Holy Might. In terms of patterns and plans... I got one Barbaric Belt Pattern, I got two Rune Mithril Hammer ones, they have a horrible price right now. And then, I got the Big Kahuna, the Formula Enchant Shield Lesser Parry. There's a lot of these uh, super highly valued patterns and plants and formulas that people believe are fake value. I've sold the Lesser Parry for 180,000 gold. I've also sold it for 20,000 gold. Same with like the uh, plaid for the Golden Searing Blade, Rich Purple Silk Shirt. Like there's a ton of them. Uh, Star Belt. Like the only reason why they're worth so much gold is because the drop chance on them is so damn low. Uh, and this, the items in this bag is items that's unique to Ulderman. They can only drop an Ulderman. So I got an energy cloak, it sucks. I got an excavator's brand, which used to be really good, but now they're dog shit. The earthen rod, it's so bad. Stone vault shiv, it kind of sucks. Spire wind feather, you can actually get that one uh, as well in Ulderman. The shoveler used to be really good, but now it's really damn bad. 2.6k on my realm, but 30,000 gold reaching market value average. I got double leggers of the vault. Double Adventurer's Pit Helmet. Uh, double, well, already had this right there, so I got three of those. And then I got three of the Obsidian Cleavers, going for 30,000 gold each. So I didn't get a Jinsu, didn't get a Super Item. And uh, if I take the market value of everything in my bags, uh, let's see, my macro, it's going to say 277,000 gold. But that takes into consideration, this is like... 20,000 gold in these, like 10,000 gold in these, like minus 30,000 gold. So roughly 24,000 gold an hour and uh, like 100k of that. So 10k an hour is in these alone, the Obsidian Cleavers. However, I had a lot of people with me on the live stream who did all demand alongside with me. And we saw a lot of Jinsus. Like one Jinsu would have more, like more than doubled the uh, gold per hour in the 100 runs. Because on my realm right now, I have one up on the auction house, it's 300,000 gold. So 
that one item alone would have bumped up the gold per hour by 30,000 gold. So uh, Old Man is just one of those dungeons. Like you can strike it rich, make a lot of gold, or you can have like average returns like I just had right now. But that was also it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And I can't wait to make another video like this one. If you want to watch it, make sure you subscribe. And also check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide and the Season of Mastery uh, gold guide. But until tomorrow's video, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.